Hey, this is Jay Bat, and today I'm doing a review for Batman issue 47, and it was released in 1948. Like the other title for this tale is Batman with Robin, the Boy Wonder, but the main title for it was the origin of Batman, and this is very important to the Batman mythos because it features the guy that killed uh, Bruce Wayne's parents, Joe Chill. And you know, George Hill was also featured in uh, Batman Begins, you know, the Christopher Nolan film. Well, this story is about uh, Batman after the uh, the villain that uh, killed his parents, you know. And I thought, I thought it was interesting to, you know, kind of gives like the origin of uh, Bruce Wayne becoming Batman, you know. It shows him like working out and stuff like that, you know. I, th I thought it was a fun and good issue, you know. Well, this, the story opens with uh, Batman and Robin confronting a wanted man at a crash site and the man is murdered by the police before they can uh, do anything you know but the police revealed to the heroes that the man that they were after at, at the crash site he was wanted for murder at another in another state and Commissioner Gordon reveals to Batman and Robin that the now deceased man that was murdered by the police was actually working for the villain known as Joe Chill and Joe Chill is the man who murdered Bruce Wayne's parents. So even the shows in a flashback sequence, Joe Chill actually sh uh, shooting Bruce Wayne's parents. Now the, the thing about it, I didn't even notice at the time. He actually shot Thomas Wayne, but Martha Wayne actually had a heart attack from seeing him, from seeing her husband Thomas being shot. So after uh, Joe Chill robs and murders them, well, she murders really Thomas Wayne, and then his mother, then uh, Martha dies from a heart attack. Bruce is like in shock and everything, you know, and stuff like that after he witnesses this happening. So he swears vengeance on his parents, you know, at, at their grave site. He swears like vengeance on their death or whatever. So then he eventually dedicates his life to bringing the killer to justice and fighting criminals and stuff like that. Because it even shows him like working out, getting his body into peak condition, you know, educating himself, you know. So as the years pass along, Bruce masters scientific criminal investigation stuff, you know. He even trains his body to like physical and athletic perfection. And after one night, after seeing a bat fly through his window, he takes on the persona of Batman. So I thought this was a fun and interesting tale, and it gives the origin tale of Bruce Wayne, which a lot of stories, you know, have followed, I think. I think even Frank Miller's, like, Batman Year One kind of borrowed from this. And, he, he, you know what I'm saying, because it just shows, like, the bat flying through the window and stuff like that, you know. And you get a good look at Joe Chill, the guy who supposedly murdered Bruce Wayne's parents, you know. And that's how, that has often, often been kind of different, too, you know. But that really was who was revealed to be, you know, the murder of his parents. Well, this is Jay Bat, and I thought this was a good, you know, a good tale. Okay.